Hello guys, Zuljin here, and welcome back to another episode of No Man's Pink Sky. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I want to thank y'all for all the amazing support on the channel and the series. Guys, as always, if you do enjoy the videos, give me some dap on that like button to show you support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Picking up a little bit of Thaumium before I head back out. I just hit my third Atlas spot, and the reason that I didn't show that on camera is it's pretty much the same. Which brings me to a little bit of information. So far, I've seen that the game is a little bit repetitive. And for me, that's not necessarily bad, but for you guys, I don't know exactly what y'all are gonna wanna see. I can kinda give y'all the direction that I'm headed right now. Uh, I did pick up a location for a black hole, so I'd like to see that. Uh, along the way, there are going to be some upgrades that I'd like to look into. I got this radiation deflector upgrade for my suit a little while back. I also have one for heat that I picked up. And there's a couple of upgrades that I would like to get an, in addition to uh, buying a new starship. Uh, which I have a lot of credits. I've been uploading a lot of my finds. Uh, which you'll be happy for. The reason that I don't really do that on camera is it's basically just pressing E and hearing that aggravating voice over and over again. Now, I see a cluster of something that I haven't really seen before. What is that? Is that new? That's gotta be new. What do I get? Ah, oh, that's aluminum. <laughs> okay, nothing real special about that. Alright, so let's take a look at the star map and I'll show you guys where I'm at. So, I just got my third Atlas Stone. It was pretty much the same thing as the first. Uh, there's a couple waypoints that I do have. If I navigate with Q and E here, uh, you'll see that I can select this waypoint, which is the next spot toward the Atlas interface, or I can navigate to this waypoint, which is on the way to the black hole. And I think it's like four jumps away. So I'm just gonna start jumping. Uh, I do have plenty, and I mean plenty, of uh, the warp shards, uh, warp capsules, <laughs> I guess that's what you call them, warp canisters, uh, to fuel the ship, and I'm full on my hyperdrive right now, so should not be a problem. Uh, lately I've been going, doing a lot of looting, trying to upgrade my multi-tool so I can mine a little bit faster, and looking for rare resources as I go. There's a space anomaly here, I definitely want to visit that because that's where you can get some pretty good upgrades. shouldn't be far now. So yeah, the Space Anomalies, that's where I got my first uh, Atlas Pass. Uh, and uh, I might get another one here. A V2 would be nice because there's a lot of doors that I need to get into with V2. And V3, of course. Alright, so this should take me straight in here and we'll see what it has to offer. Open Sesame! These look less like like real nice as the space stations they kind of look like some antique space stations some old junkers all right we'll see they even sound kind of rough <laughs> okay so there's a couple of aliens here this guy should be the one that gives me that's the one that gave me the atlas pass in the first base specialist polo yeah what you got buddy my geck standing is partner now which is pretty good Okay, transmit wealth data. Most of the units accrued above five. The gift, then a gift. New tech. He gives me, tell me that's an Atlas Pass V2. Nope. Homing bolts. I like the look of that though. Nothing wrong with that. Operates automatically. Uh, best used on life forms with unpredictable attack patterns or those most likely to attempt escape during combat. Pretty cool. And let's see what this guy tells me. He's probably gonna teach me some language. He's one of the priests. I like his helmet. All right. Resources to aid exploration. Find a shortcut to the center. Resume the path of Atlas. So he's going to give me another path to another Atlas stone, which we already have one. Um, I think... Let's go with resources to aid exploration. I've never done that yet. A gift to which to explore the galaxy. And he gave me, ooh, new technology coolant network tile. That's pretty good. Increased protection and extreme heat damage on Scorched Worlds. So, now I have the ability to upgrade my suit to heat protection, 
cold protection and radiation protection, uh, which pretty much means I can explore any kind of planet. Now, I haven't explored anything with... Well, I have explored something with high heat and high cold before. Uh, but you have to kind of babysit it. You have to kind of keep repairing it as you go. All right, there's some undiscovereds around here. Let's take a look at anything that looks incredibly interesting. Let's hit the C. See if there's any empty buildings in the vicinity. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> I didn't get anything on that. All right, scanner is still recharging. Let's do it one more time just in case. A trading post is detected. I don't think we really need to worry about that. Trading posts are meh. I mean, I can get them anywhere. I really want to head towards that black hole again. Let's hit the scan one more time and see if there's just anything. A transmission tower? No. All right, so let's go ahead and go to map. And the next spot. Two more hops to the black hole, y'all. Um, wait. What? <laughs> I think I messed up. There we go. That's where we're going right there. Alright. So yeah, I'm hoping to start finding some really, really exotic stuff. Now that I can start surviving in uh, more harsh climates. Really the only thing that I'm having a lot of trouble with is the space battles. Just because they do so much damage. I need to start thinking about upgrades to my ship. In fact... I would love to buy a new ship now that I have some credits. Uh, I'm going to be looking at that. But I don't want to just kind of upgrade. I want to upgrade huge, if y'all know what I mean. All right, this is a new little spot. That looks like a cool planet. If that's even a planet. Voyager, warp 20 times. Any cool looking resources around here? Let's shoot a couple things and see what we get. Thaumium, no biggie there. All right, nothing real crazy here, y'all. This looks like a cold world. There is a space station here, but I don't think that's gonna be really necessary. Uh, let's go ahead and, oh, actually, you know what? I should visit the space station for an upgrade. Uh, now that I have my Atlas key, it's pretty easy to do that. Um, I haven't been using this a whole lot, the phase beam. It is good to have. Uh, I need to get some heridium and some iron to fix it up. There's a couple things I can look at selling too. This lemium and this chromium. Uh, their total values are really, really high. Uh, every once in a while I find those um, from destroying like pirates or something like that when one or two attack me. So I'm guessing that let's go ahead and Technology refill my launch. And let's refill the hyperdrive. There we go. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and go to the station here. And we'll check behind the door. Also, we could get another suit upgrade. That's usually what I've been seeing back here. And the possibility of getting a nicer ship. If one comes up in the 1.2 million range, I'll probably pay for it. I've seen some much higher ones too, like 2.2 million and stuff like that. But with the extra cargo space, I can hold a lot more and do inventory management a little bit less, which ought to help me in the long run. All right, so let's go see the real good stuff first, which is behind the door with the pass. There we go. And typically what you see in here is just like this. There is a suit upgrade. This is going to cost me, what, 120k? 110k. That is going to bring me to one... You know what? I might not do this. I might not get the suit upgrade. I'd rather save up a little bit more for my... Um, aha! Damage radius. That's nice. Uh, I'd rather save a little bit up for my, um, my next ship. Because I've already gotten so many suit upgrades and they're starting to get really, really expensive. So, my ship still has the same amount of slots as it did. Now, don't get me wrong, it is the, the, the pre-order ship, so I do have one extra slot, but that's hardly an upgrade, if I do say so myself. Let's see if I could sell off some of these rare resources for anything good. Looks like there's an alien here. Let's talk to him. Health at maximum. Yep. Okay, this is a priest, too. Traveler of the Atlas. That's my standing with him. 
I don't understand anything he just said. Lifeform shows me a complicated creature research data to see if I can comprehend it. I must look blank because the lifeform instead projects three holographic images onto my visor. Uh, it's clearly seeking my opinion on the intellect level of my own species. I'm shown a vacant looking slug, a more advanced beak trader, and a member of its own vastly. Okay, a more... I'm gonna point to the beak trader because that's about average. Clearly expecting this answer, it has ready the technology blueprint for me. Alright, I got a cooling theta. Very cool. Alright, let's see what I can sell here. So, looks like I could sell my Callium. Uh, these you can get on moons, and I haven't seen any recipes that need them yet, so I'm not real worried about it. The Chrysonite, ooh, it's selling, wow, it is selling for 100% more than it usually sells, although I need some of this for the upgrade, so I do not want to sell this, uh, not right now. Plutonium is also selling, oh wow, do I have any of that stuff? Tell me I have some plutonium to sell. I don't. I don't have any plutonium. No. That would have been great. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and sell the chromium. It's a little bit above uh, average price, so I'll take it. And I'll sell the lemium as well. All right. Now I have 1.2 million. That's pretty darn good. Anything else that is selling crazy? No, I don't think so. All right. We should go now. Okay, so I can't go get past those doors because they require uh, the second level of the Atlas Pass. V2, I believe, or even V3. There's a cool-looking ship that I can check out. It doesn't look big enough. Most of the time, they look really, really big. Although, this is much larger-looking than what I have. Divine Atlas something. Entity Ozdo. I got you. Traveler, <laughs> make an offer on the life form ship. Let's see what he's got. Um, 22 slots for 1 million. Uh, in comparison to mine, he also has a, a deflection enhancement signa built into it. Beam impact, phase coolant. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. Although the hyperdrive, man, is not. it doesn't have anything in it. I wonder if I would be able to bring them over. So I'm, I would go from 16 to 22 slots. That's a six slot upgrade, which is pretty darn good. Uh, warning, transfer items before acceptance. We would have to transfer this. I don't think we could do it quite yet. I will think I need to empty out. Oh, it does let me transfer these, but it doesn't let me transfer my warp and that's like five warp cells yeah i can't do that yet <laughs> unfortunately guys i am going to have to use some of those warp cells first uh which is no big deal we could do that uh, now that we finished up the trading here let's go ahead and go out so yeah some of the uh some of the stuff that i'm going to be doing in the let's play from here on out is going to seem a little bit repetitive you guys i'm going to try to show you all as much as new uh but i totally intend on continuing to play the game and um I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know how in depth the episodes are going to be from here on out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the store map. All right. It's next, we have to engage one at a time. I don't know how we can upgrade. I haven't seen any possibility to upgrade the um, the hyperdrive yet to something that can jump more than one system at a time. And I'm still in the same galaxy as I started with, so. Alright, here we go. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna just shoot a few rocks here. See if there's anything interesting. And then I'm probably just gonna warp straight out just to save a little bit of time. Yep, same thing. Thamium. There is the space station. Is that over there? Huh, okay. Pretty much a little bit of the same on everything. So, let's see. Let's just go to the black hole, shall we? That's it right here, right? Oh no, wait. I don't know why I went back. Let's do it. This is the black hole. 
should be very interesting to see. This might take me very, very far away from home, <laughs> which is okay with me. All right. Any day now. Oh, here we go. Wow. What in the world? Black hole discovered. Yeah. Let's activate a scan. A manufacturing facility detected. Uh, I do want to check that out, especially in a place like this. What kind of materials and resources do we have over here? Looks like just regular thomium. What is this? Iridium? Uh, I could use some more iridium. This place looks really cool, huh? Yeah, this is a quick way to get Iridium, man. Much quicker than on a planet. Uh-huh. That's okay. Alright, that's probably enough. Okay, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look. Um, hold on. Wow, that looks like a cool looking planet too, huh? It does. There's a space station there. I'll tell you what. Let's go to the manufacturing facility first. And we'll see what's there. And we can check out that planet. That looks like mostly water on that planet. That might be really cool. Maybe we'll see some big sea creatures. shouldn't be too hard to get to. Hopefully not. So the manufacturing facilities, you can bust down the door, usually find some new tech. They're typically really, really cool to explore. And we need to be on the lookout for a few key resources. Alright, here we go. Let me down, please. Some cool looking structures. This looks like a really alien planet. Weather is blazed. Okay, how fast am I taking heat damage here? Extreme. <laughs> okay, let me see what I actually need to um, to put that upgrade in, that, that, that cooling upgrade. Uh, let's see, exosuit. So, let's see here. The coolant. Okay, so there's coolant, network, sigma, hazard protection, uses guarded from extreme heat. And this is the TAW. So, which one is better? Sigma or TAW? Uh, it looks like TAW would be better than sigma. Okay, so I need microdensity fabric. Can I make that? I think I can. What do I need? Iron. Okay. So the first thing we got to do is mine some iron, which should not be a problem. Uh, there's some right there. Okay, there's 50. There's a lot. Okay. Yeah, it is pretty hot on this planet, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Okay. Oh, let's um let's go ahead and create the microdensity. And now what do we need? Uh we need more carbon and zinc. Zinc, I don't know. Zinc's usually kinda hard to find. It's usually on those yellow flowers. Carbon's not gonna be too hard to find. Let's look around for it. Man, yeah, it gets hot really, really quick here, doesn't it? That was a lot of carbon. That's probably all I needed from that. Oh boy, this is going to be crazy. 
Look how look at how fast it's falling, you guys. Look at how fast the thermal protection is going down. Holy cow. What in this planet's crazy? Okay, how am I gonna find zinc in this mess? So the good news is that I can actually do this without the heat protection. It's just gonna be a little slow. What ends up happening is that um, the as soon as I attack that door, the sentinels are gonna come and I'll have to fight with them. So if the storm is active, it'll be pretty hard. I need to try to scan really quickly though. See if I can find any of... Okay, I see... I don't know if there's any zinc. What is that green stuff over there? Alright, let's go in. We're gonna try to go through the door after this. Because I'm gonna need... I'm definitely gonna need zinc. Zinc is what, an isotope? Steel reinforced door. Hurry. Okay, sentinels. Gotta watch my thermal protection here. Huh, <laughs> you want some, dude? Uh huh, he's trying to damage the ship. You did. All right. <laughs> Fighting out my ship. This is so. <laughs> such a coward move. <laughs> but it works. All right. I don't know if there's any uh, sentinels left. Anything? Yeah, there seems to be one left. On the other side? Some threat you are, huh? I know it's fallen. Relax. There we go. All right. Get in there. <laughs> Sentinel force deactivated. Good. Woo! It's kind of crazy. <laughs> kind of crazy out here. It's fun though. All right. Everything is calm now. Also, I need to go check all that loot, man, that those Sentinels drop. They drop titanium sometimes. They drop um, different, uh, sometimes those modules are pretty good to sell. Should be three altogether. Neutrino modules. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. All right, let's go in. This should protect us. Very good. Thank you. All right, what we got here? Uh, oh, yeah, impact damage. Omega? Uh, that's cool. <laughs> Thousand credits. Anything else that stands out here? Another couple hundred credits. And the storm is clearing now. Perfect. Okay. And let's interact with it. All right. A laser scan retracts through my visor. Then another traces the air around my breathing exhaust. My gas concentrated levels don't match the warrior standard. Use exosuit to increase gas concentration. I would think, let's see. This is a Viking. I don't know enough about the Viking to know if. It says something about intruder. Okay, so this lets me leads me to believe that I should lower my gas concentration. Nothing happens. So apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. I failed. That gummit! Alright. It said something like gas is too high. Well, I thought it was it was saying gas is too high, so I did not go through with it the right way. Unfortunately, we didn't get any technology from it. But uh, that doesn't stop me from wanting to look around a little bit. I would love to get some zinc here. So let's see. Another couple of scans. Hmm. I know. Alright. What's down here in this crater, first of all? Nothing. I'm hoping to find some zinc, man. Okay. Are these anything new here? Yep. 
That's new. It doesn't look like the mushrooms or anything. They're not valid enough to be a specific entry. Plasma Cal launcher, blueprint. Okay, 50%. On the other side, there should be one last debris canister. There it is. Neutrino module, good. Okay, we can hit this waypoint. Hit this with the Atlas Pass. Hit this. Jettison Isotope. It would have been nice if you would have gave me some zinc. Fascination B. Alright, that's fine. Should be just fine without having to use any resources to repair it. Okay. Well, that's all for that place. Uh, honestly, we should probably just trade for zinc. Let's see if we can find a little outpost here. This planet is very, very cool, though. What exactly is that? A little bit sluggish when I'm loading in planets. A little bit sluggish. Doesn't look like there was anything. That looks new. Hold on. Let's land here. What is that spewing thing over there? Are you anything? Yes. You are just iron, though. Ah, it's something left behind. Nice. New technology, beam impact theta. By the way, what materials are this? Nothing, I don't guess. Interesting. Usually those are mineable. I guess in these, this instance it's not. Protection falling. Already discovered those. That's new. Alright. Let's get back to the ship. Doesn't look like there's anything too major here. All right. What I really need to do now. I know. What I really need to do now is find a trading outpost. Not enough fuel in launch. That's fine. Oh no! I need plutonium now. And there's an incoming storm. Great. <laughs> also, this is platinum silicate. I'll take that. Ah, there's some plutonium. Easy, 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 easy. Is, the, is it stopping me from collecting it? I don't think so. I did not get any from those. You gotta be kidding me. Ah. Okay. I want to keep the warp cells and stuff. Let's see what I can use up. Let's see what I can use up here. Pulse engine. Could use a little bit of thomium. My phase beam. I need some heridium in order to fix that. I think I'm going to have to drop a few things. I don't want to drop the iridium. Oh, man. This is killing me. I might have to drop something. You know what? I could drop the carbon. Um, let me drop iron, actually, because that's easy to get. Very easy to get. Okay. Now I should be able to... Uh, mine a little bit of plutonium even though I just pretty much threw it all away hopefully there was more than that I don't see any in the vicinity here oh there's some over there hurry 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 all right that's probably enough to get me going any right here? No. Almost. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> let's let's get this thr launch thruster going. Nice. Alright. We probably have enough for two more. We can always find more too. And there was some meridium on top of that uh on top of that little curve thing. I think it was that. Alright. Really have to find some place to trade now. Really? 
that is not it. What are these? Oh, it's just not properly loaded in yet. Yeah, a big trading outpost would be nice. Although I could always just go back right up. Because I'm pretty sure at a space station I can get zinc by trading. Okay, how about this place right here? That might have a trade terminal in there. Might. I stress might. Yeah, let's go ahead and try. We'll try it. Okay. The storm is crazy, man. Wow, this place is broken down. Okay, there's not going to be any trade terminal in here. Electron vapor. Beam impact. This is just abandoned, man. No trade terminals in here, I guarantee you. Health restorative. It's nasty in here, though, whatever it is. Let's check out these... Oh, storm, storm clearing, clear. good. Viking word for death? Nasty. Alright. I think that looks like detected. it's it. That looks like that's all she wrote. Let's get a little bit of plutonium while we're here. No oh, not again. Inventory. Not again. Let's see, what are we dumping here? The warp cells are taking up so much room. Gosh. I guess... I guess we're just gonna have to do the carbon, you guys. I hate to do it, but... Alright, only a little bit more. Also, that looks new. No free slots in suit inventory. Is that new too? Maybe not. Alright, no free slots in suit inventory. Extreme temperatures. Gotta find zinc in order to get the heat Down upgrades. Protection. I'm gonna have to work on both of those upgrades. And we still need for a ship too. But now we can get off the planet, so that's pretty good. Alright, let me go to a station and see what I can do here. Alright guys, so I was able to trade for a little bit of the stuff I need. I don't have quite enough of the chrysonite for the focus theta, and I also need a little bit more platinum, but I do have enough for the exosuit upgrade, and that is going to be the coolant network tile. So again, it's 50 or 100, or 50, 100, and 1. And this is going to be the better one. All right, so now I have a bunch of cooling, uh, well, heat protection, I guess I should say. Oh, it looks like a new ship just came in the dock. Tell me you have a little bit of platinum and that other stuff that I need. Let's see. It, oh, there's another ship too. Uh, buy items. Let's see here. You have zinc, iridium. Chrysonite, you're negative five on that? Hmm. So, I don't know what else I'm going to need here. Let's see. Let's talk to this guy and see if he has anything. I doubt it, though. Cadet Mankul. Buy items. Chrysonite, yes. But you don't have any platinum, do you? I'm buying that for too expensive as well, but I can't believe you don't have any platinum. We're so close to that upgrade. <laughs> oh well, platinum's easy to find though. It's basically the blue flowers on any of those uh, any of those ships. All right, enough farting around. Let's go check out the black hole. All right, guys, here we go. 
getting all in its business. This might be the end of the game. You never know. Is it going to take us right in? Looks like it. Take us in. Wow. All right. Well, we're not dead yet. And we're still in the same galaxy, actually. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm not too sure where it is, though. Let's go in the place. <laughs> Let's go in the station and check it out. Black hole warp successful. Dif distance traveled. 554,000 light years. Uh, okay. And what got damaged? Uh, we already knew about that. Oh, wait, no. This is maybe different. Accelerated fire sigma. Okay, so I got damaged a little bit when I was actually going through the black hole, but that's okay. Well, we've got a new place to explore, but that is going to have to wait until next episode, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgin signing off, and we'll see you next time.